The RV160 and RV260 series routers allow you to choose between a copper or fiber connection for your wireless access point. We'll learn how to configure SFP-based WAN features on this edition of Tech Talks, next. To get started, we'll first log in to our router utility. Once we've done that, we can navigate to System Summary under the Status and Statistics tab in the menu on the left-hand side. Here, we can see the status of each of the ports in our router. As you can see, this router is currently connected through a normal RG45 Ethernet connection. Now, I'll simply plug our SFP transceiver into the SFP port in the back of the router, and our WAN port automatically changes from copper to SFP in the internet column. We are now automatically able to get an IP address. In the event that your SFP transceiver is unplugged or your connection goes down, we are now automatically able to get an IP address. In the event that your SFP transceiver is unplugged or your connection goes down, the system will revert back to the standard copper ethernet connection. There you have it. You can now switch between fiber and ethernet connections with ease on your Cisco RV160 and RV260 series routers. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.